Hi, I'm Jervais Fong. I'm the manager of USB and DisplayPort Solutions at Synopsys. I'm Morten Christiansen. I'm technical marketing manager for USB and DisplayPort. So Morten, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about Embedded USB 2, also known as eUSB 2. So what is eUSB 2? It's a lower voltage version of USB 2. USB is 25 years old now and 3.3 volt signaling, 5 volt tolerance was okay 25 years ago, but today in the advanced process nodes that are used for the most advanced chips, it's just not doable. So those are the, the target uh, designers that will want to use eUSB 2. These are the guys needing the USB 2 connectivity in the most advanced process nodes. Correct. Uh, because you need to have backwards compatibility with the billions and billions of USB products out there. Which is one of the basic foundations in terms of why USB is so popular today. Indeed. Indeed. So let's talk a little bit about what's a typical application scenario of eUSB 2 in these most advanced SOCs. Well, as we just said, backwards compatibility is very important. But you can also, if you have a look at this block diagram, you can also use embedded USB for embedded devices. For example? Like a trackpad, okay. a webcam, Bluetooth, or other peripherals that don't need to be connected via a cable. And then eUSB 2 is a much lower power solution. And then so for more of the traditional connectivity, would say your type A connector, how does eUSB connect, make that connection? Okay, you look at this 15 year old trackball, legacy A connector, plug it in here, and <clears throat> then the eUSB 2 repeater converts between the lower signaling voltages for an eUSB to the legacy signaling voltage required for legacy USB. And it goes the other way as well? Yes. Okay, very good. And then how about the, the newer, most popular, or will be the most popular USB connector, the new Type-C connector? Like this one? Exactly. Yeah, this adapter allows you to have power, display port video, and super speed data all on the same connector. And it just plugs in like this. Um, again, the USB 2 repeater converts the USB 2 data path. Well, display port and super speed USB go straight through because those use sig lower signaling voltage with voltages which are supported by the SOC today. So essentially with eUSB 2, we cover all three types of scenarios. Your chip-to-chip -chip implementation, your type A connectivity, your type C connectivity. Correct. So when is this available today? Well, eUSB 2 from Synopsys is available now. And for designers that are interested in more information about our IP solution, please go to synopsis.com forward slash USB. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.